Hi guys. Well, you can see what kind of fucking day it is. It is a nasty, gray, gloomy, depressing kind of day, otherwise known as my fucking birthday. Uh, you're on the first day of the fall of 2021. Wednesday, September 22nd. So, uh, I decided against my better judgment to venture out on my birthday. Here, here was my challenge was to uh, was to register my trailer, the Maggie May trailer. Uh, register the fucking Maggie May trailer, change the registration from Florida to New York. <clears throat> and then uh, after that challenge, I was going to drop by the bank to cash a check. Thank you very, very much, Frederic Poulet, for that very kind birthday present you send, sent me today. I really appreciate it, Frederic. So anyway, I was going to cash that check and uh, <clears throat> get some money out to pay my buddy for doing some work. This was my fucking challenge. Okay, so uh, I go to the I, I go to the fucking courthouse. This is the Tioga County Courthouse. Thinking, Jesus Christ! I knew I was supposed to have my license tag from my Florida trailer in my hand with me. I did not realize that I have no license tag on the fucking Maggie May. I have no idea where the fucking thing went off. So, I knew I was already uh, skirting the rules, and of course I went in after the walk-in period. So I basically was just going in to make an appointment. So I get in there, <clears throat> and the very nice woman there, you know, I went up to her, I said, well, I realize that it's beyond walk-in time, I said, but our dumb looks still free. And uh, she goes, oh, she goes, we got time. She goes, this is a pretty slow day. What do you got? <clears throat> so, I told her what I wanted to do. And this very nice lady and I started to uh, fill out the form together to transfer the title from uh, Florida to New York. Uh, there were actually two people involved in this. So we had two women at, at the fucking DMV trying to figure out how to, tr how to transfer this fucking title. And uh, good God, so of, of course they, you know, they wanted the goddamn license plate. That I had to turn in the license plate to pick up the New York plate. And I, uh, so I told them what had happened. Uh, you know, that my plate had just disappeared somewhere between Florida and New York. No idea what happened to it. And on nowhere, I had all of my paperwork from Florida. All of my fucking registration, everything, nowhere was the fucking license plate number, which, you know, I had to put on two fucking forms. So these two women are looking at each other and looking at me, and they said, they go, Mr. Mitchell, just think real hard what that license plate number was. Like nudge, nudge, wink, wink. So, uh, so I said, okay. I said I'm thinking real hard, and I said I think it was this, and I and I wrote down this license tag number while they were just kind of looking around the room. They never mentioned the license tag number again. So we're getting you know further, further down into the form, <clears throat> and so then. Because what I was doing, it brought up this second form. All right. And this is a non-resident form. Uh, it, and it got really weird, and the questions were getting dodgier and dodgier, and I was uh, going right up to the fucking line of committing probably a felony, and we get to the question. We get to the fucking question. The three of us are sitting there. Uh, you know, the courthouse is just getting ready to close. And the question is, 
were you a resident of New York when you bought the trailer in Florida? Were you or were you not a resident of New York when you purchased this trailer uh, and registered it in Florida? This was a $400 question. If the question was yes, I was a resident, uh, I was a resident, I owed them $400. If the answer was no, I did not owe them a fucking penny. And uh, so they said, well, when did you buy the trailer? And so we looked it up. The purchase date was February 20th, 2020. And they said, well, do you have a New York driver's license? And I said, yes. And they said, what is the date on that? As long as the date on your New York driver's license is after February 20th, 2020, uh, you don't owe us a penny. So guess what the fucking date on the uh, <clears throat> on the driver's license was. It was, of course, September 22nd, 2019. I don't even have to remind you of that fucking story. Of what happened, uh, try, you know, when my Texas license expired when I was up here shopping for property. And so, at that point, I just figured I owe 400 fucking dollars. I've already paid the fucking sales tax on this $8,500 trailer. It was like, whatever 6% of $8,500 is, whatever that comes out to, somewhere around 400 fucking dollars. And, uh, <clears throat> so, then, she goes, so then, you know, she's really trying to help me, and she goes, well, that's that's a driver's license. She goes, that was just meant, uh, she goes, but you were not a homeowner uh, before you left New York to go to Florida. She goes, you just had to get that driver's license. And, and uh, so if you remember, I bought the fucking house on October 15th and I lived in it for four days. Were you or were you not living in New York? Were you or were you not a homeowner? And uh, I, I start hemming and hawing, and she looks at me like, like don't tell me you were a homeowner. And, and, and I said, darling, I bought this little shack. I lived in it for four days and rented it out. You tell me, was I or was I not a, a resident of New York? I said, I owned that house for four days and, and left. And she goes, when did you return to New York? Before or after February 20th, 2020? And I said, I returned on June 8th. And she gets the damn paper and uh, she writes June 8th. Uh, on there and just, and just like looks at me like uh, you clueless fucking moron. Uh, <laughs> you've got to learn how the, the old nudge, nudge, wink, wink. So we do all of this shit and then we get to uh, then she asked uh, for the safety inspection on the Maggie May trailer the safety inspection and I said you have got to be fucking kidding me and uh, she goes would you like to give would you like me to give you a 10 day uh, extension a 10 day grace period on that inspection sticker and, and I said where do I put the inspection sticker when I get it? She said, you put it in the glove compartment of the vehicle pulling the trailer. <coughs> and I said, are you going to give me the uh, inspection sticker <coughs> with the license, the, the 10 day thing with the license plate or when I get, or when I bring the inspection sticker? She goes, I'm gonna give you your plate right now, sir. So I walked out of there, uh, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So I walked out of there with my goddamn plates. But of course, my plates run out on December 31st. The fucking truck 
it, it, when you do a motorized vehicle, it's whatever date you go down there, but all all unmotorized trailers end on December 31st, so my fucking registration, my tags are going to expire on December 31st when I'm driving around. So I've still got to deal with this shit. And uh, she said, just deal with it. So anyway, I was actually getting ready thinking I was going to do a, a, a rant on how great it is to live in small town America. I, I mean, uh, I owed them 400 fucking dollars and uh, they gave me a pass literally on 400 bucks. So uh, I said, okay, that was the best birthday present. So then I go to the fucking bank because I had, you know, I've been stuck down there for so long. I pull into the bank at 4.03. 4.03, the fucking fat bitch is sitting right there on the other side of the glass. I pull up and, uh, and, and you know, and she points me to the drive through ATM and I said, come on, darling. I, I said, this will take two minutes. She says, go. Uh, she goes, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm closing out my cash drawer. Just, just go to the ATM. Uh, 10 feet in front of you. So I go to the fucking ATM because this fat bitch uh, won't, won't, let, you know, won't let me do this fucking thing. So I'm trying to figure out how to put the fucking card in the goddamn slot. Unfucking believable how hard it is to get the goddamn card in the fucking slot. Took me about 10 fucking minutes. I finally get the motherfucking card in the slot. I, I do my business, uh, I cash my check, I pull out my money, I, you know, do all that, and then it says, take, you know, remove your card from the fucking slot. I couldn't put it in. I reached my fucking hand in, uh, which you have to, like, reach your fucking hand halfway into the machine. In the process of pulling my fucking card out, it fell. It fell uh, somewhere, uh, somewhere either in the fucking bowels of the ATM or uh, the, between the fucking ATM and the building. And uh, so I go and I'm banging on the fucking window. This fat fucking bitch won't come to the fucking window. And I'm, and I'm honking my horn. I'm fucking banging on the window. She finally comes back here and she goes, sir, I told you I could not help you. And I said, well, you're going to help me, God damn it. Uh, I said, you're going to fucking help me. Uh, I, I said, I know you're not the clueless fucking moron uh, who developed this fucking card slot, uh, you know, for this, uh, for this motherfucking ATM you made me go to because I was three minutes fucking late. So now my fucking card is down there. She goes, your card is where? And I said, I don't know where my fucking card is. I said it fell into the into the fucking black hole, and she goes, "I don't know what you're talking about." And, and I said, "I can't believe that I am the first one uh, that, that that has ever lost their card." Uh, she goes, "Sir," she goes, uh, "I have been working at this bank since the day they built it, and you are the first person who has ever, to my knowledge, managed to drop your card." Uh, she goes, "You're not making any sense." I, I said, "Get your fucking fat ass out of here!" And, and uh, help me get my fucking card out of here. And uh, she goes, well, I can't do anything to help get you. And so she, she waddles out there, and, and we're looking all over the fucking ground, trying to figure out where the fuck my card went to. She's looking at me like I've lost my fucking mind. And she says, well, there's nothing I can do for you. I said, well, what the fuck are we going to do about my fucking card? You stupid bitch. And, and, and she said, well, now I've got I've, I've to call a fucking maintenance man. I've, I've got to call a fucking ATM maintenance man to come tear the fucking machine apart, you clueless fucking moron. 
Uh, she goes, I gotta come in and get a goddamn maintenance man down from wherever to fucking tear the ATM apart to get your fucking card out. And, and I said, well, what if it isn't in there? I said, what if it's in, you know, like it fell down some fucking black hole between the fucking ATM and the fucking side of the building? She goes, well, I guess at that point, you stupid clueless motherfucker, we're gonna have to cancel your card. We're going to have to cancel your fucking card, blah, blah, blah. And, and I said, listen, you fat fucking bitch. I, I, I said, so we just went through this. Uh, you just fucking canceled my card a few weeks ago. And, and I said, the unbelievable amount of shit that I had to fucking eat from, uh, from this motherfucking bank. This is Community Bank uh, of New York. I, I, I said, I said, if you cancel that motherfucking card, you fucking bitch, just give me my fucking money, and I'm taking it out of this fucking bank and, and banking with, you know, just moving my fucking money out of here. You know, unfucking believable. The fucking bullshit. Guess what? Call me, call me tomorrow and find out whether the maintenance man was able to get your card. Jesus fucking Christ, this is the reason I have three fucking ATM cards. Not one, not two, but three fucking ATM cards. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, this little dog, how many ATM cards do you have? Anyway, this is my, there's that fucking Maggie made trail. I, I don't fucking get it. It's the, I just noticed this a uh, couple of days ago. There's no license tag. Uh, on the on the Maggie May, no fucking license tag. I have no idea if that fucking license tag. I, I think it very well might have fallen off on that fucking road leaving my property in Florida. I, I never had any reason to look. Uh, somewhere between Florida and New York, the fucking tag uh, fell off the the back of my fucking trailer. Obviously, not a fucking cop uh, between Florida and New York or wherever the fuck it fell off uh, gives a flying fuck. I need a fucking drink. My guys.